Okay, what's up? I ran across another two tall Toby uh, jewel here. This is um, this this part is from uh, match four, battle one. It's uh, Chadwick versus Crispy Co. Um, this part is called Hex Locking Plate. It's a tier five part. The mass is five seventy seven grams plus or minus. Uh, one or uh, one gram. Sorry about that. Um, everything looks pretty cut and dry. It although it is a. So you've got sixty here with a twenty nine uh, uh, radius on the corner. Uh, so you it doesn't look like you could use a fill. Actually, you can see the lines right here. So you're not going to be able to get that full round fillet. Yeah, I mean, although I don't know that the full round fillet would um, get you without, or you know, make it to where you're without, um, not within tolerance. So um, anyway, so I'm gonna model this this guy here and uh, see. Uh, I don't know. See what I can do. Uh, MMG10. What am I? MMG1060. So we go top lane, center rectangle. Let's see if I can 60, 150, 150. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use some fill, put some fillets in here. Those are 15s, and so we're good with that. Uh, top plane sketch. Uh, that circle doesn't have a dimension on it, but it does go all the way out to the edge, so that means it's tangent. So I'm going to extrude. Uh, I'm going to extrude, and now I moved it, so 20. And I'm going to reverse that direction. So then I'm going to pick back on this extrusion, and it is 28 through, so control C, 28 uh, through all. I'm gonna pick on that same face. I'm gonna use get a hexagon out here. We'll go ahead and make the point horizontal. It's a 40 hex down 11. So now let's go back. Uh, you know what? Nope. Top plane. And I'm gonna use a. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this parallelogram here. A little bit easier than shit. Trying to sketch the so six. Trying to sketch that uh, pa parallelogram rectangle. It's uh, eighty degrees, and unfortunately you can't mirror these. So uh, another parallelogram. We go ten thickness. Uh, and we'll keep it at six here. But this one is uh, 69. Okay. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to extrude up 110 minus 20, which is 90. And then remember those, uh, those fillets are 29, I think. So yeah, so we'll go here and here. And so we got now we got those. Let's start on this uh, front face here. Sorry, I've got an annotation in there. Uh, missed my S key. So let's do this, uh, this, this. Let's go ahead and make both these equal. I'll make it a 45. Um, out to the point is 50, I think. And then we're going to extrude uh, 5, or we're going to reverse the direction, and then we're going to offset it by, hey, offset by uh, 20. Not that direction, but this direction. So, okay, we're good. Go around here. We're going to sketch on this face. Oops, I hope I didn't snap to that point. Probably did. Yep, it looks like it's coincident. We'll move. No, it won't. Let's 
see, it's little mistakes like that, but well, I tell you what. Um, so the dimension from edge to the edge of the rib is, or the end of the rib is 40 on this side. And then we're going to extrude it. It's going to be 5, which is going to be reverse direction. And then offset uh, 22. And we're going to reverse that. Yep. Looks good. Looks like the part. And we're going to go with option zero decimal places 577. So yeah, that's a hard part, that, but uh, yeah, so 577 grams. Um, I didn't use the rib feature. I think um, had I made some planes for ma planes, I could have maybe done the rib feature. But when you're kind of under the gun or under, you know, on the clock, it's like, eh, may as well do that. Let's let's check out what it looks like. You know, I don't even know if this is right. It could just be lucky. So let's look at the end, and it the end does look correct. So yeah, these are a little. Sh the side on the right is a little bit shorter. Um, the side these you know it looks looks about the same there. But you do have that little flat right there that's uh, what two point well roughly two millimeters long just on top there. But yeah it's not uh, this is a good part this is an excellent part. Um, I, I would go I would agree that tier five, because once once we start getting into these tier six and sevens, it uh, gets a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm gonna do some tier six and seven parts, and they're I mean they're like <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know man they're just they're, I don't even know how to really explain it. It's just it's just like you know you're sitting there waiting for your part, tick 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 tick, it comes around, and you know you get. Uh, this freaking tier six it's just like wow you know what the hell because the difference between tier five and tier six is pretty crazy and then the difference between tier um i think really the difference between t tier five and tier seven is like you know what the hell you know <laughs> anyway so yeah thanks for watching uh hope you liked it thanks bye